hello guys welcome to undiluted tech and today we're going to be installing the new ubuntu 1804 now i had already installed it before but then the video had some issues and i'm redoing this so we're trying to do this real quick so i don't waste your time so i'm gonna use virtualbox for this series so let's go to new ignore this one right here that's the one and i'm hoping the rest of the recordings were good so let's go to new and I'm going to name this media server too, just in case, uh, I mean, just for the sake of it, cause I already created the one that I made the rest of the tutorials and I'm really hoping that the recording was fine. having gone through them. So we're going to do 64 bit for Ubuntu hit next. I'd like to give my virtual machines a little bit of juice. Uh, two gig is not bad. Uh, we're going to create a virtual hard disk right now. Uh, VDI is fine next uh, i like fixed because it's faster next and i'm gonna pick where to store my virtual machine i don't want it on my disk or uh, my c i mean i'm uh, just gonna put it on data here and i'm gonna create a new folder and call this media and then open save now that's done let's hit create and just a few seconds yeah and i picked 10 gig because it's a virtual machine that was about it so how to add your iso click on settings uh, make sure the server that you want is selected uh, we're gonna go to storage and over here and uh, under control ide go to this little disk right here and pick first of all if this is the first time you're running this you're not gonna have this option so what you want to do is choose a virtual disk and then you come and find your iso um actually let's go ahead and just do it uh it's not we are using ubuntu yep and then open and then select ok and then you can start your virtual machine wow so once your virtual is starting we can go over here let's see if we'll let us do anything I'm just gonna pause the video for a minute so this can get done. So the disk has already started and Ubuntu started. This is the first screen you see, so you get to choose your language. And English is what we're gonna use. Keyboard layout, done. So now here you have three options. If you're using mass, please check your mass documentation. But here we're using Ubuntu, so we're gonna hit enter. And we are configured to use DHCP. So we configure static IP address later. So I'm gonna hit done for here. And uh, we don't have a proxy. And I'm gonna use the entire disk. Now, there's some been some changes um, in Ubuntu. So Ubuntu lo no longer requires a separation of partitions for swap space. And this, they won't, I mean, Ubuntu won't uh, create them automatically after you create install the disk so if you want to create a more uh, complicated system uh, the manual option will allow you to select and reorganize partitions on any connected device so you'd come here and do it but since I want to make this as smooth as possible you're gonna use the entire disk and I'm gonna use a whole disk so so that's my new formatting extension 4 uh, my disk is 10 gig and Ubuntu already went ahead and configured it for me so I'm gonna hit done uh, to confirm I will say continue and let's name uh, okay no let's enter our name uh, the name that I'm using for this story is Bob uh, the name of this is media server I'm gonna call this media server too so it doesn't conflict uh, pick a username we'll go with Bob and enter your password make sure this is a secure password so uh, if you want to know how to create strong passwords uh, just do a google search or get LastPass, and LastPass will you know show you how to i mean it will give you tips so you can use that to you know uh, what am i trying to say that will show you there's a way you can generate um 
Okay, I'm going to cut that part because I don't know what the heck I'm saying. <laughs> I was saying last part will show you how to delete, I mean, to create stronger passwords with some configuration. Now, this is a new field here that wasn't there before. Uh, this field is for importing SSH keys, uh, either from Launchpad, uh, let's see, from Launchpad or from GitHub. Now, I don't have a GitHub, I mean, I do have a GitHub account, but I don't have any SSH keys there. I don't have a Launchpad. So, what you need to do this is just simply enter your username and, inst and the installer will fetch the relevant keys and install them on your system and make them ready for use. Uh, that is like using SSH keys, but since we're not doing that, we just go ahead and hit done. And here the installer will install its software and whatnot, and we'll come back when this is done. Once the system is done, you want to reboot and remove any media. So in our case, we don't have to remove anything, but if you have uh, um, a flash drive, CD, remove it, hit reboot, and your system will reboot. Uh, let's put this in scale mode, switch. I think I can, there we go, it's full screen now. The system is going to reboot and it's going to do its configuration, whatever it's doing. Uh, I'm not sure what the kernel does, but it's doing its thing, booting up. And when you see some failed things, don't don't worry about that so much. Um, the system will still work. If it won't work, it will tell you at the beginning. All right, and there goes uh, your Ubuntu server starting up. Uh, there is your SSH keys fingerprinting. Um, I don't recall the last version, like the 16.0, having this screen before, but you know, you can explore, you can save those keys if you want, but I don't know how you would do that. You know, I guess you can figure something out, but if you hit enter, you'll be brought to this, and let's clear the screen. Oh, we have to actually log in to clear the screen. So our username is Mr. Bob. Enter our password. And we are in. So there's 97 packages to install. Uh, let's, let's clear the screen here so you guys can see. There we go. So you want to do sudo update, apt, update. I like running this command one after the other. Uh, I can do this as a two step process, but you want to keep your system up to date. So that's why I'm doing this. And later in the tutorial series, I think I put a video about how to automatically update and you don't have to, you know, reset and forget. But this is how you want to start your server. So enter your password. And Ubuntu will, uh, will update. Now, I'm going to pause the video till it's done. All right, if you want to ask you to continue, if you are sure, yes, I'm sure. So what we're gonna do is enter and you'll continue upgrading. This might take a while, so I'll pause the video till it's done. Now that you're done with the installation or the updates, uh, that's all you need for this video on how to install uh, Ubuntu Beaver. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the upcoming series on using Linux as a media server. See you later.